the third semester video triple stream students i welcome you all again into another video hope you are all doing well and hope you have started your preparation for your next subject that is transformers and generators right so for the addition i am here to give you some super important questions for, for the particular subject so subject code is uh, BWE304 here is a scoring package if you are just covering this much portion including the problems you will easily score more than 80 marks in this particular subject okay so for the numerical part you have to refer previous year question papers like BWE304 and also 18E33 and 21E34 right so no need to worry about the papers I will upload the papers on my Instagram account today itself so there should be no concern about the papers so module 5 we have here it is the passing module we have eight questions if you are covering these uh, you can easily get 20 marks right so first of all we have the super important question explain the basic components of wind energy conversion system WECS uh, with a suitable sketch describe the principle of solar cell what are the advantages and disadvantages of solar energy list the advantages and disadvantages of wind energy conversion system explain the basic solar photovoltaic system for power generation with the neat sketch again super important one and also list the advantages and disadvantages of solar photovoltaic system next three questions we have here write short notes on horizontal and vertical axis in WECS discuss the types of wind generators or simply they will ask you compare horizontal axis windmill and vertical axis windmill so cover these eight questions you will get 20 marks next passing module we have model fourth in which you have to go through these important questions like discuss about two reaction theory and voltage regulation describe the parallel operation of generators and load sharing write a short note on hunting and damper windings what are the causes and effects of hunting in a synchronous machine how do you eliminate it draw power angle diagram if synchronous generator explain define synchronization explain any one method of synchronization and synchronous generator write a short note on voltage regulation by emf method in synchronous generator seventh one we have what are the conditions for uh, synchronization of alternators and explain the lamps dark and lamps bright method used to synchronize single phase alternators and eighth one we have derived the equation for uh, synchronizing power when two alternators are connected in parallel at no load how parallel operation of alternators are carried out what are the conditions to be satisfied last one we have write a short notes on capability so this is all about your module fourth now coming to the module uh, second which is again a passing module and as i really told you that for the numerical part you have to refer previous year question papers okay so don't neglect the numerical part as you have already witnessed how vt is setting the papers this time okay it is sometimes fully numerical and sometimes a more theoretical part and less numerical part over the year so you should keep this thing in mind so don't leave the numerical part at all so coming to the model second we have uh, describe the constructional features of three phase transformer with a neat sketch with a neat circuit diagram explain the necessity of parallel operation of single phase transformer what is auto transformer show the copper economy in auto transformer with necessary expression dry delta delta connected three phase transformer and explain its operation also mention its advantages what is the necessity of tap changing explain the process of on low tap changing in transformer have the expression for saving of copper in auto transformer compared to two winding transformer seventh one we have obtained the expression for load sharing during parallel operation of two transformers having same voltage ratios list the differences between two winding transformer and auto transformer ninth one we have derived expression for the current shear between two transformer connected in parallel supplying a common load when no voltage when no load voltage of these transformers are unequal last one we have explained in the neat diagram on load and off load top changer okay this is all about this particular module now coming to the model third we are having here with neat sketch explain the construction and working of synchronous generator derive an expression of emf equation of a synchronous generator most important one and uh, define short circuit ratio also draw and explain open circuit and short circuit characteristics in synchronous generator what do you mean by harmonics mention its methods of reduction and elimination and fifth one we have uh, with the help of neat sketches explain how the voltage regulation can be determined 
using EMF method from the OC and SC list. Sixth one, we have explained the armature reaction in alternator with the leading, lagging, and UPF uh, vector diagrams. Seventh one, we have uh, described the construction of salient, non salient pole type rotor, explain the working principle of alternator, derive EMF equation of an alternator, also discuss the types of armature windings. Last two, we have here defined voltage regulation of an alternator and explain local characteristics of alternator, and name the various methods for determining voltage regulation for a three phase alternator, and describe uh, any one method in detail now coming to your last module over here that is the module first explain the construction and working principle of single phase transformer with neat sketch define efficiency also derive an expression for condition for maximum efficiency these are super important ones with the neat circuit explain the necessity and procedure of uh, sampler's test on transformers with a neat phaser diagram explain the operation of transformer on load for uh, uh, lagging power factor Obtain the equivalent circuit of transformer referred to primary side. With usual notations, derive the EMF equation of transformer. With the need diagram, explain the types of transformer. And with the help of phaser diagram, explain the operation of practical transformer on load. And write any five differences of one phase core and shell type transformer. Last one, we have what do you mean by back to back test. With need circuit diagram, explain how it is subnurse test conducted on two identical transformers. So these are the possibility of important questions which we will ask from this particular subject transformers and generators. Okay, so as far as numericals are concerned, I'm again telling you refer previous year question papers for the problematic part. Don't leave the problematic part at all. Okay, at least from two modules, you should be good in the numerical part, right? So that will definitely help you in passing the subject. And if you want to score, then definitely you have to go through numericals of all the modules. So I wish you all the best for your examinations, dear. Make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates. Thank you.